Hi everyone, my name is Tom. In this video we're going to take a look at the old Xbox 360 Call of Duty titles. See which ones are active this year in 2022. I picked these up recently cheap uh, physical copies and you just download the, the digital version from the Xbox Store. Uh, the Xbox Store versions, if you download through the store and pay for them that way, are actually quite expensive. So this is why I've picked them up. I was just interested here to see which ones uh, were actually popular in, in 2022. Uh, these aren't on Game Pass yet, but they hopingly will be on there soon, which should bring a lot of players back to these, uh, these great multiplayer games. Now, a few of these I've never played. Um, this one here, Modern Warfare 2, I played a lot back in the day and here on the Xbox 360. And the next one, Black Ops, I believe is when I went to the PlayStation 3. But as we can see here, we, we couldn't really find a game in that, unfortunately. This is on a Saturday midday uh, in the EU. I thought this would be a really good opportunity if there were going to be people playing these games uh, that maybe today. Now, you might have better luck maybe on a Sunday, uh, maybe in the evenings, maybe sort of 6, 7 p.m. You might have a better chance in the sort of 12 uh, midday sort of Saturday. I thought this was as good a shot as any. And I did actually get a game or two uh, at the end, but it, unfortunately some of these older titles just seem to be a bit dead. Uh, even the old bat, uh, bat Battlefield series on uh, Game Pass isn't actually that popular apart from 1943, but some of these are fantastic games. Um, as I didn't really get to experience the Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts, and there's a few others after that I didn't do and Black Ops 2. So we're looking here for a game, but it says there's, I think, a few people in the categories, but I couldn't really get a game together of anyone in any of these. So I hung around for about 30 minutes, and we couldn't get a game together, which is a shame. So next World at War, this was a fantastic game in its day and I actually think um, Vanguard is very very similar to this. Uh, I, I actually quite enjoy Vanguard because it reminds me a lot of this game but I can imagine that a lot it was, this game was just madness, it was Call of Duty madness, this is probably one of the most mad ones on there. Uh, just in terms of constant explosions, um, people sniping all the time. It was really good fun, and the maps were quite big as well. Uh, some really iconic maps. I think well, uh, Vanguard would do very well if it actually imported some of the maps from this. I think it's got Dome, but that's about the only one. Um, but this had some really good maps in it, and I think even the DLC maps were very good. Now, uh, this is a bit of a mixed bag, because you might be able to get a game on this if the time is right, it seemed. Because there was quite a few numbers in the categories. Uh, or actually was there, it's a 4 out of 4 playlist in, yeah, there's Team Tactical. I'm going to try to get a game, but there you go, there's about 6 people it showed there, and reloading the game, I was like, okay, here we go, get ready for it, you know, I was thinking, alright, we're going to get to play this classic again. You have to please forgive my uh, killstreak names, this is when I was like 16, 14, 16, I don't know. Uh, I was very young when I made these, and it's obviously saved them, so... Uh, the top one's probably quite rude there, very well. Um, but they were all very good. I, 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 I had the loadouts and I tested a lot of them. They, they just were there because they worked. I don't know about these bottom bottom few, but I think, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. We'll go over the top and do some sniping. And then, um, I guess it's si winning 160 to 0. So yeah, someone obviously maybe joined. And there's two people here actually looking at it. I thought it was only one, yes. Two people left. Yeah, so it was unfortunate that basically it just didn't... Unleash the dog! It didn't really work. Someone called them the dogs and that was that was kind of the end of it, really. I was a bit like, oh. <laughs> Talk about an instant high and low uh, with this experience. But uh, it is what it is. Unfortunately. So I went on to Modern Warfare. This was such a good game. Uh, and I'm yet to. I've got to replay the stories of these Call of Duties coming up on the channel soon. I'm uh, I've just recently got Game Pass. I'm just going through the Game Pass games uh, that I've missed or not played or think that would be good for the channel to cover uh, that other people may enjoy. 
but ultimately I wanted the multiplayer to give a go back on sort of console multiplayer to see what um, see what I'm missing this day and age. So Call of Duty 4. Uh, again, you have to forgive my custom classes. I just said kill streaks. I don't know why I called them kill streaks. My custom class names. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I was a child. I was young. Uh, but again, unfortunately, we couldn't really find a game in Call of Duty 4 here. Modern Warfare, the original one. I assume people are playing the remaster that they made, uh, and I will pick that up soon and we'll check that out. I, I might buy it later on today or something. Uh, see if we can pick that up and see if, how busy that is. Although I've heard some controversial things about the multiplayer, like they changed uh, a few things and it is actually quite different, which is a shame. Uh, but regardless, there's no one really playing this, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, let's move on. We move on to Call of Duty 3. This was a really fun game. Uh, this, I think, coming after Call of Duty 2, funnily enough, which was a launch title for the 360, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. That's one of the few I'm missing. Uh, I don't know if people are still playing that. I kind of hope so. I kind of hope people are playing all of these, but the the original two, I will pick that up as well. It's actually gone up in price over here in the UK. I don't know about the rest of the world, and it's kind of hard to find, which I didn't expect. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if it's just it's just a copy that ended up getting used and abused. And I would have thought it's a copy of that sort of game you couldn't give away for for a very long time. Almost some like the early FIFA games, but no one wants them sort of thing. But um, obviously things have changed. It is one of the good ones uh, that I do remember. But this was very unique as well. I tried getting a game here. Now this was a bit weird because the quick join didn't work at all. I tried that for about 20 minutes, didn't get anywhere. And then I tried the custom session here, and you can see there's quite a few games on, like servers. And I don't think this is on like X-Link. Now whether this is on a different system or setup like X-Link, where you have to be on a Discord server and maybe know people. Uh, because there was two, there was a person there with the same name, they had two servers running two different games. So uh, I don't know what this is. Um, I couldn't join any of them, unfortunately. I tried. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. And then this is a Call of Duty I've never played. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Again, I picked this up just to check it out. And surprisingly, this is the one with you that I got a game in. Uh, and the same thing for Ghosts afterwards. So I'll stop the commentary here. And this was quite fun. I think this game here I ended up getting in a UK server. And the following game on Ghost, I, I think I was in an American server, but my connection felt fantastic. Um, I only thing I can assume is that my monitor was a bit of an advantage. Um, I think <laughs> somehow I don't really know. I think my monitor was a bit of an advantage in this. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the video.
Team Deathmatch. Let's do this. Package incoming.
care package on the way.
Get nobody really They'll message me and, and say some shit. That's one guy messaged me and says, 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 bro, we know you mod. You don't gotta lie. Totally. Man, if I was mod, I fucking, I'd, I have no death, right? Yeah. Ever. Cause I've right. played with people who who fucking mod, and I don't. I guess they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They'll mod, and they'll still end up with like 15 deaths and shit like that. How are you modding? And you end up with 15 deaths. Cause they're trying to hide it. If I was modding, man, I, I wouldn't be stupid about it. Certainly would be losing games. Right. Yeah, that one, one game we got. Team Deathmatch.
Time to work, soldiers. We're in the lead! <sighs> Friendly SATCOM active. SATCOM active. We've lost the lead! Oh yeah, you got me, Suji's.
Friendly satcom active. Okay, now I'm getting spawn killed. Satcom uplink enabled. Get the fuck out. Friendly SATCOM active. It's down to this. Pick it up. Satcom uplink enabled.
Mission failed. This won't happen again. I didn't help y'all any. Mother bitch! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sasquatch? Yeah.